Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be painting Marshall Vance's blaster from The Mandalorian. And we're going to be painting it for a friend of mine who's going to use it as part of his Halloween costume. We're going to start things off with a 2 to 1 mix of Mars Black and Metallic Black. And this is going to be an all over coat for the entirety of the print. And this is just to kind of give a light metallic sheen to the entirety of the piece, just to kind of build a foundation. Now one thing I did notice about the 3D print is even with a coat of primer that I've already put on, the paint does not go on fairly even, so we're definitely going to want to do two coats on every piece that we're painting on the print. Now as things go on, we're going to paint some areas in one style of black and some in a different one, just to kind of give a little bit of color variation, since the piece is supposed to be almost entirely uniform black. So now we're going to paint the stock sections, which I'm kind of calling anything that isn't the barrels or the little kind of gribbly bits that are attached to the sides in just a flat Mars black. This will give it a nice dark coating, but still allow a little bit of the metallics underneath to show through without it being the same coloration as the rest of the piece. Next we're going to use a metallic black and this is going to paint over all of the barrel sections of the piece. This is just going to give a nice subtle variation of color and kind of give a nice little shine when it is held up to the light. And while we're at it with the metallic black, we're also going to paint over the cooling vents as well as a couple of other small sections on the piece. Now we're going to paint over the scope shroud as well as the forward sight adjustments. And now we're going to paint over the hammer section of the blaster, and this is going to require two coats. Now we're going to use a one-to-one -one mix of gray and silver to kind of paint over all of the gribbly sections of the model, as well as the scope. Once those are dry, we're going to follow it up with some burnt umber on all of the wooden sections of the handle. Now I really enjoyed the fact that the uh, printer left these little lines and striations in the hand grips, really makes it look like it's actual wood. Kind of a wood grain texture. Unexpected, but handy. Now because my friend is going to be using this at a office Halloween party, we're going to paint the tips of the blaster barrels orange for safety. This will prevent any misunderstandings or legalities from coming up if anyone sees it and thinks, oh my gosh, it might actually be a real firearm. And now we're going to do a medium dry brush using some raw sienna over the hand grips. This is going to really help lock in that kind of wood grain texture. 
And then to add some weathering and scuff marks, we're going to do a kind of almost medium to light dry brush of silver across all of the uh, edges of the piece. Just to kind of give it the impression that some of the paint has worn off every time it draws from the holster. And here we are with the finished piece. This was an interesting learning experience for me since I don't really paint 3D prints that often. So please let me know what you think and if you want to see some more 3D print painting in the future. I do have a few extra files, so that might be a thing that we start doing here on the channel. So please hit that like button, subscribe for future content, comment in the comment section, and we will see you next episode.